Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I want to show you... Uh, well, let's show you that I need to turn this off. Okay, put that on mute. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm listening to the VHF and UHF bands because shortwave listening right now is not too good. Uh, the conditions are just not good for shortwave listening. So I've moved over to VHF and UHF and kind of listening to the business bands to see if there's anything interested happening out there. So anyway, I found this one station. It's at 46.3.3. And it's pretty active. Although the audio level is a little low, it's pretty active. So I'm curious, what is that? What is that frequency? What is that station? So what you can do, and let me see if I can get the right page up here, is you can go to this website. Now I'm talking about um, business and commercial transmissions. I'm not talking about amateur radios, operators, or international. This is in the United States. This is the FCC Universal Licensing System database, access to the database, where you can do searches. And you, this is the main page you get, and I'll put a link to this page down in the description of this video. So you go here and you select, because this can be a little difficult to find what you want. You select Advanced License Search. And that gives you a lot more options. And I don't know much about this station. So let me see what I can fill in here. Now I could fill in um, the licensee city and state, but I'm not sure where this is coming from. Um, down under license detail, I do want to select active. I don't care about the expired licenses. Assuming that this this company has an active license. And then we want to come down. Date information. No, we're not going to try to narrow it down by date. Frequency. Okay, I know the exact frequency. It is, I'm going to put it in right here, 463.3. And what you want to do is you want to tune your radio so it's a nice even frequency. You know, if you're just clicking on some signal you see, it might be a little off. Like this was 46.301. So I knew that wasn't right. So I tuned it to 46.3 and it came in clear. And then that's the known frequency. And this is in megahertz. So then you can select uh, how many uh, results you want to display per page, etc. Then you come down, here's the secret. Well, it's not a secret, but here's how you uh, get things done a little easier. Is you select Geo Search. So I'm going to select that. Now, it has kept the information of the frequency. It's kept that. So that's up there. Now I have some more options. So because 46, 463.3 could be used thousands of times, throughout the United States. So I got to narrow it down to somewhere in my area. So I'm going to select Florida because you know it's VHF transmission. It's going to be close by. So I'm going to select Florida. Where'd Florida go? Hello, Florida. What the heck? I can't find Florida. A, B, C, D. Keeps jumping. Okay, let me use the slider. Oh, come on. My God. There it is, Florida. Good grief. Okay, then it says you can select, and you can select more than one state. Then you can select counties. So it might be a possibility that it's outside the county I live in, which is Pinellas County. So I'm going to come down here and select Pinellas County plus a few counties nearby. Let me see if I see one that's nearby. Again, I don't know why this is jumping on me. Oh, why is it doing this? 
oh my gosh, why is it doing this? Maybe it's because I got so many programs running at the same time. Okay, I've selected Pinellas. Pasco is near me. Whoops, I have to hold the control key down. And then I go back and see if I can find Hillsboro. It may take me an hour at this rate. H, H, Hillsboro. So those are the three counties that are close by. There's one south of me, but it's quite a bit south of me. So I'm not going to pick that one. So then we've selected that. That's the key to narrow down the selections as much as possible. Now I could, this is another good option, is to use the Latin long um, and in a radius. That's actually better if you know what the Latin long is, where you're at, than using this up here, the state and county. But for right now, I'm going to use state and county. So I put all the criteria in, and I'm going to say search. Now there it goes. Now hopefully the search won't take too long. For some reason, the other day when I did this, uh, the search took a long time. And as a matter of fact, it, it failed a couple of times. So I don't know if the database is overloaded or what. As you can see, it's taking quite a while. And normally, when I've used this in the past, it comes up right away. So I don't know what's going on there, why the searching is taking so long and why it's failing. Like I can say it, this one might fail and I'm going to be embarrassed because I'm doing a video on it. Hello, searching, searching, searching. You know, the weather's been pretty nice this week in Florida. It's got back up to the 70s, and across the nation, it's gotten quite warm, warmer for the middle of the winter. Oh, what else? Um, oh, I want to thank everybody who's used my Amazon store. I just checked out my uh, sales on my Amazon store, and uh, quite a few sales just this month alone. So I want to thank everybody for doing that. I see a number of people have purchased things outside of my store. I mean, that are not listed in my store. What you could do, once you go to my store, then you can go buy some bird seed, and I get a credit for it. I don't know who purchases an item. I only know what is purchased. So thank everybody for doing that. And, and this is uh, turning into a disaster as it will not search. Now, it should not take this long to search. I've narrowed everything down considerably. And I don't know what's going on on this database, but the past couple of days, it's um, kind of hung up. So we're going to give it a few more seconds, and then we're just going to delete this whole video. Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't you know it? When you want to do a video of something that normally works fine, it doesn't work. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not the fact that I've got many programs running. I got the um, SDR console running. I got my recording program. I got my um, Chrome running. I don't think that's it. And do -do, we're going to give up. We are going to abort. I was trying to trick it. I was trying to trick it, but it didn't work. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, there's one option that I use quite often on watching YouTube videos, and that's where you can change the playback speed. You can go as high as two times. Might be a good time to do that right now, or started a few minutes ago. Uh, it ain't going to work. Uh, I give up. Oh, finally. Thanks for sticking uh, sticking by me. Okay. It said that there are only two stations which use this frequency in Hillsborough, Pasco, and Pinellas County. And that is Charles Stull some business, I guess, and Bright House Network, which is um, provides uh, cable, cable TV, internet access, and so on. 
that's what this is. Listening to the conversations that I heard earlier, that's what they were talking about, installations and people having problems. So this is Bright House Network. I found it. So now I know what this is, I gotta have a better feel for what they're doing. And it's these, this is what's interesting to listening to the business band. You can get some very good inside information <laughs> because uh, what I heard earlier was, um, I, I won't repeat it, but it was something that it was, uh, if I was going to get Bright House cable, I would probably reconsider that based on what I'm hearing these probably technicians say. Anyway, whew, man, I didn't mean for this video to be so long. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for using my Amazon store. Uh, the link for my Amazon store is down below this video in the description. Bye-bye.